that only through voluntary devotion to love do I arrive at my truest and innermost self. From this one of countless examples, we get a sense of what it is to read the Red Book. We plunge in, down, where encounters with the unconscious call us out, forcing us to tasks that if we avoid, we miss the boat. In painting 55, we see what Jung saw, that we all have a boat riding on the unconscious psyche, under which the serpent, the dragonfish, the monster of Fulfus swims, threatening to swallow the son of consciousness. Jung was called to these encounters, forced by his own complexes that, when faced, yielded his vocation. He said, in my 40th year of life, I had achieved everything that I had wished for myself, but he had lost his soul and had to go find it. With fright, he asks his soul, into what mist and darkness does your path lead? I limp after you on crutches of understanding. I follow, but it terrifies me. And yet Jung recognizes, quote, this life is the way, the long sought after way to the unfathomable divine, thus pairing psyche with soul to whom he says, your meaning is a supreme meaning and your steps are the steps of a god. Jung felt carried into fearsome territory beyond what Christ taught. The soul tells him, if you marry the ordered to the chaos, you produce the divine child, the supreme meaning beyond meaning and meaninglessness. Christ taught God is love, but you should know that love is also terrible. Christ overcomes the temptation of the devil, but not the temptation of God to good and reason. Identification then with what we call the good is not going to work anymore. For the soul tells him, Nothing will deliver you from disorder and meaninglessness, since this is the other half of the world. In response, Jung says, I swayed between fear, defiance, and nausea. Jung sees that as Christ knew that he was the way, the truth, and the life, I know that chaos must come over men. For him who has seen the chaos, he knows that the bottom sways. For he has seen the order and disorder of the endless. In short, the soul tells him, life has no rules. That is its mystery.